then we increase the number of capillaries. This is also a very important adaptation that we make. Capillaries are like your highway system. You know, when I first moved to San Diego five years ago, I couldn't believe how many highways there are in San Diego. It's crazy how many highways there are here. But that's a good thing. Because when you get off of a highway, you never have to drive far on a local road to get to your destination. Imagine if there was one highway that traversed Southern California. Then you get off the highway and you'd have to drive forever to get to your local destination. So you can think of capillaries as your highway system. The more capillaries that you have perfusing all of your muscle fibers, then the shorter the diffusion distance for oxygen, once it leaves the capillary, it has to get inside a specific part of the muscle where oxygen is used. And we'll get to that. It's called the mitochondria. If you remember back to high school biology class, your know, high school teacher talked about mitochondria. That's where aerobic metabolism takes place. So one of the adaptations to a lot of cardiovascular exercise is you make more capillaries. You build a greater highway system that perfuses the muscle fibers so that oxygen, when it takes an exit out of a capillary, it doesn't have far to travel to get to a mitochondrion where it's used ultimately to regenerate energy from muscle contraction. And so there you go. We increase the density and the number of mitochondria inside the muscles. If you were to do a muscle biopsy on someone who does a lot of aerobic training, they've got more mitochondria inside their muscles than somebody who's sedentary. Because mitochondria is where aerobic metabolism takes place. It's where fat is burned. So if you want to become a better fat-burning machine, you want to pack the muscles with more mitochondria. And so that's another great adaptation to a lot of cardiovascular exercise. And then inside the mitochondria, we have aerobic enzymes. What do enzymes do? They catalyze what? Say it. I heard it chemical reactions, right? So we have three energy pathways. We have three pathways, two of which are anaerobic that don't use oxygen, and one that's aerobic that uses oxygen. And so the more enzymes that you have, then the faster these chemical reactions go, and the faster you get energy, ATP, for muscle contraction. Remember back to high school biology mm -hmm. class, you remember learning about ATP? Mm -hmm. That's the energy currency. 